healthcare is not static. It's, it changes fairly quickly. Uh, recalls of Vioxx, uh, uh, changes of, uh, of medical interventions. Uh, so we have to have a system that, is, that allows and enables that kind of uh, flexibility, uh, robustness, uh, adaptability, uh, interoperability. That's another characteristic mm -hmm. of the military. There has to be the ability for uh, very separate uh, groups of Marines, Air Force, uh, Navy uh, specialists to communicate very quickly, uh, very effectively, uh, threat information and friend-foe information. Uh, these are really tough tough technical challenges in any information technology environment, quite a bit tougher than, say, an ATM machine network. Uh, that's slow-moving stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so the who's going to provide it, how is it going to be provided, it's actually, I believe, a whole new cultural and social and business uh, model that has to emerge uh, from uh, the, the very core of healthcare. Physicians and nurses come to work to care for people. Patients want to be well, by and large. Um, manufacturers want to make products that improve health care. Uh, we don't have products, hospitals, uh, reimbursement policies and systems that are aligned or make it very easy for these organizations or individuals to do their job. And so I think the next five years and the whole purpose of the uh, high tech and the twenty billion dollars is to stimulate that transformative change. Um, and I have no doubt that information technologies have to be a critical enabler because the, the, uh, when the day is done, physician, nurse, patient has to make a decision at the point of care in the moment of care uh, in order to really be effective and cost effective.